it's Dale here. Everybody keeps asking me about GIMP, so I thought I'd show you how I use GIMP. Um, I think everybody knows about my little circles, so I stitch them, lay my GIMP down. This is what GIMP is. Um, it's a rayon uh, uh, thread over a core, and it's, um, it sits in this sort of style, and you can um, I mostly couch it down, or you can stitch with it, and I'll show you some of the stitches that I've done. Mostly you want things that are fairly open. These are sort of some, these are the painters, part of some of the painters' gimps that we have. Absolutely beautiful, I love them. And then we also have our own gimps, a bit, bit low on colour range at the moment, but um, we've always got them coming. We're always persuading Jacinta to dye up some more. And uh, if you go to our website under GIMP and Hand Threads, under Painters, you'll see there's a little link to an article about GIMP, GIMP the Beautiful Unknown Creature, which was written, put together by Babel from Painters. And uh, so I'll show you some of it, you know, all the lovely colours and etc, etc. Uh, but to do my little circles like this, or I've got a lot of pieces where I've used circles, um, and circles with a metallic thread to for that sparkle and shine, or use a, um, a fine thread, maybe a fine cotton, pearl, pearl 12, or even um, a machine embroidery thread, just to anchor them down. This is Uluru, so it's um, that, uh, you know, middle Australia activity. And then I also put them close together, or I use them in spiral, so they're supposed to be, it's like the sea, so it's beaded and it's a sort of seaside perhaps um, the shells and stones and things. And I've used a very flat thread to anchor them down. It's just a slightly different effect. Uh, and in my, um, then another one that I've used them in, uh, it, you know, using the sparkle on bottom there, little ones and big ones, different sizes. And in my rock pool that I'm working on at the moment for my next kit, I've got some to sort of showing the, the sparkle of the water and so on. And um, in the last kit, in the moss kit, I did some little wee ones, just sort of showing the moss uh, or effect that I thought it had. So, uh, just quickly to show you how I how I do it, do these. Um, I just anchor them down, uh, get it started, and simply couch it down. I think couching is an easy stitch to do, which basically means laying something down and stitching it on with a. This is a, just with a straight stitch, but it could be. You know, you could add beads or whatever. So that's that's that there. And you just work away until you get the shape that you want. So that's how I use them an awful lot. But then I also use them um, for French knots. They make wonderful French knots because they sit up proud. Um, French knots, colonial knots. And back down through here. presume it all works it doesn't matter if it's a little bit loose so because I'm using a variegated thread variegated um, you get those sorts of uh, flexible changes of color and then I've also used it for uh, chain um, raised chain band it makes a wonderful raised chain band and because it's a sort of stitch where you're not going in and out all the time but some of the times you're anchoring across a stitch or palestrina stitch which is another very popular stitch and you can see that it's a lot of it is surface so you're not having to keep going down through the fabric you're linking through and also i like to use it for um uh, uh sorbello stitch just as wonderful and again it's a surface stitch but you have a look in your dictionary of stitches and find ones that you think it would suit for because there are lots of different ones that you can use and finally what i will do with it something i'm very keen on doing just lost my piece again I use it often not for stitching but for making cords so you take your three pieces knot them up at one end if you haven't made a probably, probably all made cords at times make a braid and just weave it down one two three over and under if you haven't done this and once it's all done you can then either stitch it down onto a surface as a little braid, couch it down with a fine thread so you could lay it down and then stitch it onto a surface or in this case I've used it to make a little braid, uh, a little cord that I've wound, tied my book up with. Um, 
I like doing these sorts of things but um, because it's nice and firm can be stitched or you could add beads in as well remember really anything that takes your fancy so that's my offering for this week I hope that's given you a few ideas of people who've been asking me about Gim and I'll see you next time